my name is Jessica and welcome to Makeup Misfit and welcome to day eight of A Very Merry Justmas. We are a week into this already, um, but for today's video, I wanna do a little mini chopping block. Now, I usually don't do these or really have them more or less. I just kind of make a decision on what I wanna do with the product, tend to sometimes regret it later for better or worse. Um, but I do have a few items here that I really want to like make a decision on, see how I feel about them, use them a little bit, get more of an idea on how they may or may not work for me and make an official decision. So I do have six items here I'm going to go with you guys. Um, this shouldn't be too, too long. So let's start off with the body sprays. I have three of them from Bath & Body Works. So the first one is Happy Vibes. The second one is Beach Nights. And then I have In the Stars. I actually have two of these ones. This one um, has only been sprayed like maybe once or twice. The other one has more use on it. This one you can see I've used a decent amount out of the bottle. And then Happy Vibes, you can't see it, but I've definitely used more than I have on this one. I think I'm sitting, if I can see through this ever so like slightly, I'm sitting probably about here. So, so I did really enjoy, especially these two. Um, I just haven't reached for them in a very long time. And when it comes to the In The Stars, I tend to actually forget about it and I don't even think about it. So I really don't know what I want to do with these. I think I'm going to try them out to maybe like, a couple days out of a week see how I feel about them see how it wears on me like after the initial application I know they're just body sprays so they're gonna like fade pretty quickly um but I just want to see like maybe what the scents are like afterwards and see if it's something that I enjoy now opposed to like say a few years ago when I first bought them um there's a chance that I may have liked them better back then so I just want to take a chance or try them out take a chance see how I feel about them and if I do end up passing them along, I may pass them on to my mom if she wants them, just because at least the Happy Vibes and the Beach Nights um, might be easier to pass those along to her since they've been used. The In The Stars, like I said, I do have a second one that has a little bit more usage on it, so this one might be easier to pass along to somebody else if they want. Um, and then I'll just see what I want to do with the In The Stars. If that's what I end up doing, it's passing them along. If I keep them, then I end up keeping them and it doesn't really make make a difference so those are the three sprays next we're going to chat about a bronzer that i have this is just a little bronzer from la colors this is uh bbl 396 bronze glow so i got this a few years ago i want to say actually it's maybe coming up onto two years one of the ladies i work with gave this to me with a bag of makeup um that she was planning on giving to me anyways but it just happened to be on my birthday so I haven't reached for this and I I kind of was like wanting to, I wanted to use it up. I had every intention of doing so. I just kind of tend to forget about it. Maybe it is because of the size. I don't know. Um, I do keep it with the rest of my stuff. So it's not necessarily like out of the way. It's just not with my daily makeup. Currently I'm using the Benefit Blush in Dallas as my bronzer. So maybe after that, because I like to use my bronzers one at a time, then maybe I will reach for this at that point. Hopefully it'll be more like winter into springtime. This has, this has a little bit of shimmer in it, so it would kind of be nice for that time of year anyways. Um, so maybe I will try that then and then make up my mind on what I want to do with this one. But I always just tend to forget about it, so that's why that one's in here. And then last, I have a two eyeshadow palette. So we're going to chat about the Stila one first. This is the Eyes Are the Window shadow palette in Seoul. This was really, this was the neutral one out of the bunch when they first came out with them. And I wanted one of the other ones. I think, I can't remember the name of it, but it was like pink and purple, or not pink and purple, purple and blue. I'm happy I went with this one, but I honestly, like I used to use it a lot, but I haven't reached for it in the longest time. This shade here is Kitten. And this is like what is making me hold on to this palette. I could use... Yeah, that's the one. I could use it as like a highlighter. We'll have to see. I kind of do want to play around with this though. So this may be pulled into a project at some point in the new year. I'm not quite sure yet. I don't really know how I want to play with this these things. I don't know if I want to pull them into projects or if I just want to kind of play with them on my own or do like a mix of everything. But this is definitely a palette that I had kind of taken out of my collection. I just kind of brought it back recently like it never left 
um, my house, but I had it in a completely different area, completely forgot about it. And then when I was going through things, I came across this and part of me was debating what to do. So I just kind of held on to it. This, it's hard to tell in this lighting right now. I guess I could turn my ring light on, but this side is like this one and this one's way too deep. I don't know if I would use these. Like, I don't know how I feel about this. It's kind of more maybe that side. I don't know. I'll try and play around with it and see if I, you know, vibe with this or not. And then you guys, if you have been around for a little while, you have heard me talking about this palette time every so often. Um, this is my Milani Everyday Eyes. This is in bare necessities. I, for some reason, cannot pull the trigger on getting rid of this. I got rid of the other ones that I have. This one, I just can't do it. I really want to use this. This was going to be my pen lab palette a couple of years ago when I chose something else. I need to make up my mind on what I'm going to do with this. So I figure that this is probably going to be the best way to do that. I might have to pull this into a project to actually make sure I use it because I feel like for some reason I just want to hold on to it. I don't know what my attachment is to this palette. I really don't think there's like, I bought it. Like other than that, there's no like, it's not like it was sentimental because somebody gave it to me. Like I bought it. I remember going and buying like where I bought it from and I bought this one with another one and I got rid of the others. So I don't know what it is about this palette. But I just like cannot let it go. So I think the only way I'll be able to get use on it is by pulling it into a project. So sometime next year, I'm hoping you'll see this. I'm hoping that I can go through these six items, projects or on my own and just like make a decision on what I want to do because a decision needs to be made. Whether it's to keep it or to pass it along, something needs to happen and I need to know because they're just kind of hanging out and I always just like look past them, forget about them, don't think about them and just like grab something else. So if it's not something that I'm like really itching to use, maybe I should get rid of it, but I should actually test them out a little bit, see how I feel about them and maybe my mind has changed. Maybe I still like them, who knows. So. We'll have to see how this goes. So that is, you know, the few items that I want to make a decision on. So um, this isn't a long video, but I usually don't have like chopping blocks more or less like I mentioned in the beginning. So that is everything for this one then. So I thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. And day eight is, nope, day Day nine is coming up next. I'm, I'm mixing up my days already, guys. Okay, day nine is coming up next, so I will see you then. Bye.